What's up, Fish Tank TV? This is Bobby Fish Tank, and uh, today we are going to talk about a very, very important topic that every aquarist should know, in my opinion, which is how to get ri uh, rid of blue green algae, also known as cyanobacteria. So, what exactly is blue green algae? Now, blue green algae looks a little like this. I got a little bit of it here, so I need to get rid of that plant down there. But you can see. The blue, blue slash green sort of disgusting slime sitting there and on the substrate, that is blue green algae. Um, the biggest problem with this is that actually uh, algae grazers um, like plegos, shrimp, and all this stuff won't eat it. Um, and there's a reason why is because it's not really an algae, but it's an bacteria. That is why it's called cyanobacteria. So, it um, is a bacteria and not an algae, so it will spread very, very easily, but it's not harmful to your fish, but it looks disgusting, and it is um, a sign of that you have too much nitrates in the water. Now, I have tested my water, and there's no nitrates, there's no ammonia, there's no nitrates, so what I guess is the problem here is because my friend had a lot of blue-green algae in his aquarium, it was crazy. It almost looked like painting. He had it all the, over the top of the aquarium, and I guess it was a little unlucky to get some of it with me. Um, and it will happen in every um, aquarium's life at some point because um, it spreads. <clears throat> it's very rare, so it's kind of rare to get, but once you get it, it will grow like freaking hell. So, um, how to get rid of it? Well, do partial water changes every week. Um, that works really well. You can also just um, directly when you see if there's a plant or a rock or something like that that has um, blue green algae on it, you can remove it and bleach the plant, for example, or you can boil the uh, the rock or driftwood, and you'll maybe get rid of it. But it's not sure because um, the bacteria is going to spread. Now the most um, secure or uh, safe way to do this is um, getting um, some something that can get rid of algae, something, um, you know, one of those, um, you know, one of those um, containers with like this uh, weird water stuff in, or you can uh, put in, and it will kill the algae. But the problem with that is if you have a nano tank like me, you'll have problems with that, your shrimp is going to die because it's very hard on your fish, uh, uh, small fish, and small invertebrates so basically um, it has uh, some of it has cover in it to kill bacteria um, just like some medication has it's very very effective but you have to be extremely careful I mean it's incredible how much careful you're going to be um, and uh, basically uh, th there's not really much to do about it really um, Another thing you can do is if you overfeed, um, now this is a, is a general thing for nitrates. Um, if you overfeed, you're of course going to have so many nitrates in the water um, and it's going to give algae and it, at some point it maybe uh, will turn into blue-green algae. And uh, blue-green algae is one of the hardest um, things to cure in a freshwater aquarium. It's extremely um, hard because it spreads like hell, <clears throat> you can really not stop it and that's why I'm very really sad to actually just see a little spot of it because I know what it is and I know how dangerous it is, well not dangerous but dangerous for my plants it really is because it general it completely covers it, I mean it's crazy so I I, I don't know uh, if, I guess I'm going to remove that beautiful plant down there um, I have nothing else to do um, because there's also some on the substrate which shows that it's spreading all over there so gotta get rid of it can't do much oh, this is so annoying I have um, I've read a lot about it and um, generally people are having problems with that it's spreading all over the aquarium like crazy and the, the, uh, the reason for this is because um, they didn't see any spots of LG before it went, you know, crazy, and that is why you have to be very, 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 um, you know, steady. You gotta be very, very um, 
careful and you gotta watch out every day you go into your aquarium you look if there's any spots of blue green algae now you guys are probably going to say oh that's ridiculous and maybe it is but it <clears throat> it will do a lot for you um, because if you get blue green algae in your planet tank you can just say goodbye to all your plants because um, your algae eaters won't eat it um, they won't even touch it because it doesn't taste like algae um, and uh, what you also can do is um, get a very very good filter um, and overfiltrating a lot that can help um, but there's not much else to do I have seen some people who have uh, made examples of sucking it up from the substrate um, you know with a siphon um, I guess this could work um, I don't know but um, yeah this is all I know and I hope it helped all of you guys because I can't find any freaking videos on YouTube with this topic and I think it's sad because a lot of people may um, at some point have problems with it but now you guys know exactly what cyanobacteria are or blue green algae um, and when you get it in the aquarium you gotta get rid of it really really fast hope this helped guys see you guys in another video